day, ladies and gentlemen. I have created a print in place spinner, and I'm going to walk you through the creation of the bearing so that you can use it to create your own cool print in place spinners. So let's start like this. Really, really quickly, if we ungroup it, you can see a half sphere, a half sphere, a cylinder, and two parabolas. Let's get some numbers and build this critter from the bottom up. Start by bringing out your half sphere, make them 20 by 20, and only two high. With that in place, let's add the cylinder, which is 14 by 14. I love using the alt shift trick where it goes one millimeter at a time, and you can just shrink it in to 14. Bring that critter in and make it seven millimeters high because that's how tall a normal bearing is. And it's always good to keep your toys aligned. Bam, bam, it's aligned. Now, this print's fine in this direction, but when it's doing the top half, you need a little rim, or what I call a fillet. And that's what I did with the paraboloid here. 15 by 15 and 5.25 high. Those were just guesses, but they turned out pretty doggone good. So let's bring out one again. Let's try using the Alt-Shift trick and see if we can get it down to 15 by 15. There's Alt-Shift, grab the corners. See how it goes to 16? Well, the trick then is to switch to 0.5, and it lets you go to 15. And then, like I said, I made that 5.25. And we move it over, and just like before, center all your little pieces. I love using the fit view to uh, the area, and then using the top view so I can take a peek at it. I can't see my uh, fillet, and that's because I have to raise it up. And when I bring it up 1.5 millimeters, it gives me the nice fillet that I like, so that when this prints uh, in the other direction, it is just dandy. Let's finish this by gently grabbing those two pieces, but not the cylinder, doing Control D to duplicate. Bringing out the groovy flip tool, flipping it vertically, and then we just need to raise it up half a millimeter for it to be good. I'm going to try point one just so I'm sure that I'm right at that edge. And there we go. You have now made your cool center bearing. Grab it, group it. All right, with our bearing center built, let's build the outside edge of the bearing. Uh, check out how slick this is. Uh, it is just a tube. I use 15.4, 4.25, 62.1 1 for the choices. Um, real quickly, just like I said, 15.4, 4.25. Make sure you set it to 7 millimeters thick. That is something I commonly forget. 60 sides makes it nice and round. And then change your bevel. I like to just type the numbers. I'm going to do 2. Gives it a nice bevel in both spots, and I leave it at 1. When you put this in place, uh, center it and center it. I'm going to make it so I can see through it, uh, so you can see what I'm doing. And you can see that there is a large gap around our bearing center. And I just fixed that with the torus. When we bring that little guy in, I found the numbers I liked were 30 and 30. Make sure you always press enter after you type those. And then I found that 4.25 fit the best. Move that inside and then arrange those uh, center and center. This one, though, you need to hide the outside edge. So I'm going to hide that little fella. And I also want to center him vertically. Align, and boom. So now you can see there is room all the way around in there. But it's going to be snug enough that it will print fine when we do show all. You can see that our project is nice and nifty if we take those two and group them together. We now have the awesome bearing center all aligned it's going to print just wonderful at this point uh, you can add in however you want your spinner to turn out uh, I chose up here click on that groovy top view and you can see that I just added more tubes 
and I made my numbers the size for pennies. I cut holes in them, and I put little bottoms so that the pennies would not fall through. You can make them however you want, because now you know how to make the center bearing for your own cool, frugal, print-in-place fidget spinner. Have fun. Please subscribe, comment, and keep tinkering.